My little perverts, my little perverts. Well, it looks like Sporlina, unless uh, Kalor rolls lower than a four, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be me. <laughs> I Am I out of bourbon? No, I got tons of bourbon. No, I said, has a, has someone already had bourbon? I got a beer next to me. Oh, and a bourbon. Taylor, you, you, you want me to roll for you? Yeah, go ahead. It's going to take me a second to get back in. <laughs> All right, Sparlina, it's you. <laughs> yeah, fine. I'll I'll do the recap since you didn't ask me how my week was. Um, anyway. Did I, did I not? I'm so sorry. Son of a bitch. Um. Anyway. (laughs) Bree, how was your week? (laughs) Sorry. It was fine. It's because I rolled first, so I was I was before everybody before you even rolled in, so you didn't see my roll. It's fine. I got so distracted by the cougar. I'm so sorry. (laughs) It's okay. I I forgive you on this time, and this time only. Um, I'll take my inspiration now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we are we are recording, so anything you say will be put on the record. Beautiful. Um, so, oh, let me get close to my computer so I don't cut out. Um, ASMR. Last last week we uh, oh we kind of woke up after reviving. You know, everybody everybody was fleeing, rightfully so, um, including Mia, who we gave. The staff to return to the victim of deer, or hopefully return to the victim of deer. We were kind of debating on where we were going to go next and settled on Haloth. And we started traveling towards Haloth. We, I don't think we had an encounter until. Oh, oh what was the name? Uh, Bethan's Hold, thank you. Um, so we're we settled on Bethan's Hold, uh, traveling. We didn't have an encounter, I think, until the. No, 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 we had the bat people encounter. Uh, and the shark dragon. Yep, thank you. Uh, after we fought them, then we continued on, found a circus. This is where oh. shit gets a little weird. Um, two of our party members, I'm not going to name names. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, Morik and <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Hey, not to not to interrupt you, but I can see everything on the map, so Jesse might want to cover that. What? Yeah, oh, I can see the whole I map. Can't. That's weird. Yeah. Is your really cool map, buddy? Uh, oh. but I'm gonna like click to a different tabs till you tell me to try and look at it differently. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it must be just maybe your token has like something. Anyway. I sight somehow. Yeah. Um. I'm refreshing the page in hopes that I don't. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Kurtz and Morik went to talk to the Kearneys, along with Alora. Um, oh, and oh, that's right. Uh, Kalor went as Bat Kalor. Uh, they found out that the one of the gimmicks of the circus was that the people were uh, scrying on people and keeping their paintings so they could scry on them further. They didn't like that. They saw some things, but nothing. I don't think anything incredibly important. I think it was just like a farmer of some sort. Drow um, farmer. A drow farmer. And then oh. uh, Laura decided she didn't want her picture done or any of that, so she went and was sitting at fire to talk to uh, some other carnies. We also realized that most of them are dwarves, if I remember correctly. And they, like, dress up. There were, there were, yeah, yeah it was a smorgasbord, so beardless oh, okay. dwarves, uh, there are a few that look tan slash dark-skinned, not necessarily right. a full drow, but maybe some half-drow, and right. things like that. Then, I think that was pretty much where we ended, where, uh, Alora was sitting with the the kearneys at the fire and said so what does happen when the circus comes to town and i think that's where we ended and the uh, boys were trying to get a uh scry on one goalie and house goalie 
Yeah. In Maleth Golgian. And yeah, and I think they decided they're trying to dine and dash, which is going to be real fun when they get to deal with that by themselves. Uh, and I think that's it. Dine and dash to my money. So, where to begin? Uh, let's begin. Elora, uh, we had a, a small conversation, but not yeah. too long. Uh, would you like to continue said conversation? Uh, here's the thing. This is a... But <laughs> I don't know that we've met anybody that I'd want to use this gift on yet. Okay. Which is like, so I'm, I'm still questioning whether or not to do anything with this because it's it, like, it, there are people I could just name and just throw it out there, but we're still operating on such thin information that I would just be, it would be a very chaotic and un unmotivated thing to do. So, give me a second to think about it. Start with the boys. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Morik and Kurt, you all are debating a few things. Uh, who did you ask? Who did they say? I forget who I said. I had asked for the grave lady. Makinga. No, no, Makinga. it was... Yeah, but you asked they said Makinga. that they can't, and it's Maylith. Spell that out. Maylith Gullion. Was the one that they said they would scry on. Which technically held up my end of the bargain when I asked for someone and they said they couldn't. All right. So that's a technical <laughs> semantics. So, uh, this individual looks at you and just says, uh oh, who do you lose? Uh, this individual looks at you and just says, well, you want her, then? That'll well, cost quite a bit. Hmm. What's the damage first? The kind of like that mace you're holding. Hmm. That is not for sale. It is technically on a loan. It is being loaned. Well, what other things do you have to offer? Take off your pants, take off your pants, take off your pants. Take off. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, prostitution. Prostitution? No. Um, oh, jeez. Cheesy Pete's. Um, hang on one second. I'm just going to check one thing. I have this Ayun Stone of Fortitude, the stone buzzing around my head. I'm like, no, 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 no. Not start with that. Oh, that's first and only. Anything else in? Eh, no dice. And what do you have to offer as he, she turns to Mork? Oh, I don't know. You know, I have some things, but uh, I'd prefer I'd prefer just to spend cash, but instead of just some items that we would potentially need in this great journey we're going on. Roll a persuasion check. Uh, Oop. All right. How much gold would you say that you're, you you want to give in order for me to try and accomplish this feat? How much did we just spend? Two fifty. Like Two fifty. For a farmer. For a farmer. Uh, I'd say, uh, you know, two fifty to learn about some I farmer somewhere was kind of pretty has... disappointing. You know. Julia has told you guys that she has scrying. Yeah. You guys are paying somebody to scry for you. Just really. 
We don't know this person. We don't know Mayla. We we don't have uh, an ability it's a to do either that. Way. Well, I can make myself look like them later and talk like them if we get this, and I can we can always do it from now on for free, with or for with your spell cast. But I'll just say like, you know, two fifty to have you cast something like that to look at a farmer is pretty disappointing. Honestly, I thought we would have got something more from that. So I don't think we really want to go higher than 250 because it was pretty much a null and void kind of thing. Hi. 250 again for Maleth Gullion. But no guarantee it'll work. Ooh. Ooh. Hurts? Thoughts? Well, I can always assist. You can assist? How the shit are you going to do that? <laughs> I, uh, I may or may not know this crime as well. Oh. We're a bambling, bumbling band of idiots. Ha! Ha. Huh. Alright. Do we want to go get the money for this? I have like 85 on me right now, because I think... Yeah. I don't... I'm, as I say, cash poor in my current state. Well... She didn't want to give me any money, so I think she's still mad at me, but go ahead and go back and I'll sit here. Getting apparently my my you know, portrait taken. Yeah. So we're not gonna scry? Uh I don't have the money. He has to go ask for money. I have to go get my money. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Gertz, you exit as uh this individual is uh finishing up your portrait. And as it turns to you, Talbo, uh, Shio goes, and voila, look at this. And you can see it is a beautiful image of you, Boric, except the cloak is a little bit different. It's very ornate, uh, very golden inlays and things of that sort. Oh, I'm going to change my uh, my studded leather to look like it. Sure. And I'll be like, oh, so you did it like this. And I'll just like, ping. <laughs> oh. Fabulous! And as uh, uh, Talbo says this, uh, he, he, he just goes, Please, let him scry just for... Uh, can we trade the scrying for that? My armor? No. What if... And uh, at this point, uh, Talbo looks at... Uh, uh, what is it? Zaren... And Zaran just uh, looks at them and just says, Oh, I don't... Well, I haven't done it in a while, but we certainly could try. What if... And he goes back to you, Mork. What if we do something a little bit more than scrying? Go on. <laughs> it's uh, known to some as... We make an effigy of this individual, and we have temporary control. You have temporary control of them. We call it voodoo. Right, right. So in your voodoo, could you make them die? Oh, we don't go that far, but we can potentially infiltrate the mind and do things that might get them killed. You know, if you could just instantly get her killed immediately, I would maybe consider it. We can't go that far, unfortunately. There are bounds to this magic. Huh. But if you're not willing to pay with your studded leather, we offer it for 5,000 gold pieces. Interesting. Well, I'll have to keep it in mind when my friend comes back, but uh, I pretty much need this to oh. make it through the next day. Hurts. As you walk by, you can see uh, you see off in the distance uh, the fireplace where you saw the uh, beardless dwarves, and Alora is facing the fireplace. And there's a very deep shadow behind Alora. 
as you're going towards uh, Sporlina and Cinna for the money. But it's just a Laura at the fireplace with a very deep shadow behind her. As I'm walking by, can I... Would that be perception or investigation? Uh, invest uh, perception. That'd be perception. You fool. Mark, just a heads up, you're, you're staticky. Ah. Uh. All right. With that perception, uh, you look behind, as you're passing perpendicular with Elora, you see out of the shadows comes two little eyes peering up at you, and then they close once more, blending in with the shadows. And this is in the shadow of Elora's back. And it's and it looks like Elora is having a conversation with herself until you saw those eyes. Uh, there is actually someone sitting back to back with Elora within the shadow. Neat. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, he doesn't know. He's just like, cool. All right. <laughs> Interesting. You make your way back to Sporlina and Cinna. Hey, uh, Cinna, can I have my money back? Please. Why? Uh, Are you going back there? Yes, but it is also my money. Yeah, but you gave it to me to hold. And now I would like it back. Mm, how much do you need? All of it. No, like, how much do you need? All of the money that was is mine. You said was. You said currently was. Currently is. <laughs> well, currently it is in my pocket. And she just kind of chucks it at him. Here. Thank if you. If you lose it, it's not my problem. How much was it? Uh, 716. Okay. Mark that. Alright. You, you take your money and you head right back. back. And you can see inside of Mork, and the bat is flying around Mork uh, feverishly. But, oh, do you have the payment? Sure. Yeah. Yep. All right. Lay it on the on the desk, and we will get to it. And this is going to be a roll as she puts her hands over the scrying. Can I right. guide on that? Is that a guideable? It's, it's a fail by it's their not... part. It's not, yeah, you can't do anything for it. If you could cast Bane on the other person, which they're not. Be a thing. No way in range, but yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. What you see in front of you is. Uh, a little bit of light. But it's a familiar light that you could see in the surrounding area. As you peer into the, this glass crystal ball, you could see the light illuminating the area around it is moonlight. You are on the surface. And looking down upon an individual clad in leather armor, with two weapons at either side, cutting down what looks to be elves as she shouts in Undercommon. Do you guys understand Undercommon? I do. You hear her say, take these, bring the rest as slaves and sacrifices, kill the rest. And you see her as she turns to the orb and Maleth Gullion looks to have a cunning about her as she gets on to her Velociraptor and heads back into the forest. Her what? Her Velociraptor. Oh my god. As she heads back into the forest. Following behind her, you can hear a, a ton of uh, what sounds like foot pads. Also, probably Velociraptors. Maybe at least... 50 to 100. And then she gets to a cave entrance that you can see it goes deep, deep down into the world. And then it cuts off. 
interesting uh, little known fact about drows is they have no uh, major arteries or veins in their legs. That's why they can afford to not have any fucking armor on them. <laughs> hey, I didn't write the book. I didn't do the. I didn't do the artwork. <laughs> Eh, only mildly concerning. I apologize if it is offensive to anyone. No, it's not you. It's the fucking genre. Gotcha. <laughs> well, I hope you are satisfied. Should my services be needed elsewhere, please let me know. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed your little show. As she picks up her crystal ball and heads out. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why I love Skyrim so much is that the armor from the male to the female body really doesn't look that different. You don't get weird boob armor. I mean, you do get boobs, but not like skinny. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> not like very obviously quote unquote female armor, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, Mork, and Kalor are now in this tent as a uh, Talbo is, like, looking at you all and just saying, Would you like to buy your portrait? hundred gold pieces each. I thought it was just a, a portrait of me. Of course. And I did one of Mork. Or of uh, Kurtz as well. And he turns oh. the portrait. And there you are, Kurtz, with a very, very fancy goatee uh, and, like, very nice combed back hair. And a bat flying above your head. I don't have a goatee. They added a goatee. Good enough. It's it's an impressionist painting, don't worry. Is it dashing? It is so dashing. It's something. Well, Let's say uh, you're off I to Emblo, right? After this? Hmm? Oh, I'm asking the, the group. You're off to Emblo? Or not Emblo. Yeah, Emblo. Duh. Well... After what you just told us, we might take a detour and uh, see what else is here in the underworld. I think we might actually go to Stoneholm next, if what you probably, say is true. It's probably a really good idea. I personally don't mind if you keep my portrait around, if that's the case. Hmm. I mean, they're probably not welcoming anyone at stone home right now definitely probably on high alert so you know risk of life and limb and all that etc we're not worried we know who we are and who we can appease to when we visit their cities oh shit I, no. I honestly am just imagining that this portrait artist just has a thing for beards and was like oh he's cute he'd be better with a beard though <laughs> totally <laughs> but after a little bit of conversing they shoo you out of the tent and you guys eventually uh head back uh Elora, have you decided what you wanted to do so I'm back to back with this person uh do they have a, the masculine or feminine voice or is it completely androgynous androgynous um i'm gonna say well, this is a noble service you're offering. I don't know that I have the, let's say, conviction to uh, use it on anyone quite at this time. However, we are heading in the direction of uh, a loss any rate a week. Uh, is there any chance that you're, you'll be down that way? I do not think so, but if you have means to reach out to me, just ask for Satan Ali. I'm going to write that one out. If you have any means of communication. That or not. Um... <coughs> Yes, I believe that we could do that. Um, just for uh, 
Just for reference, what kind of price are we looking if it were something like a head of state? Head of state? <laughs> well. Well, we only deal with the best, as you can tell. We would probably need some sort of a down payment. I think I said half now, half later. But for something like that, we would need most likely some magical items. Not necessarily for payment, but for assistance in our endeavor. All right. Uh... Take this as a down payment, and I'll give her the uh, pipes of haunting. All right. This will do. For now. <laughs> Please to make your acquaintance, Dr. Nolia. Yeah. And you feel the pressure on your back just kind of disappear. Spooky. I'll uh, pull, pull my normal set of pipes out of my bag, and I'll just play a little tune as I sort of walk around the carnival. Okay. And as you do, you see a couple of uh, younger individuals. They're not kids, but they're definitely, like, teenager, 18-ish. And they're uh, uh, also joining in as they take out their uh, either pipes or lute or drum, and they just start a concession as you are the one leading it. Nice. <laughs> and... Uh, Kurtz, Mork, and Kaylor, you guys see this. And I would assume Sina and Sporlita probably hear this and can see Laura in the distance. Look yeah. at my girlfriend. Well, come on. Uh, I will walk towards and join. Alright. Uh, and you know what? I'll join too, and I'll pull out my... Oh, what is it? Is the viol? Okay. Viol. Viol. And uh, as this one, of the, one of the teenagers just like drums up and sets up a uh, type of like a solo entrance for uh, Elora. Laura, make a performance check. Oh my god. You got up. this, babe! You could inspire her. Sorry, I was given Did that. Did you hear me? Yeah, we're walking up. Yeah, we're like in the group now. Okay, yeah. then I'm just gonna give a little bit of guidance via a, a whooping and a hollering. Is that a D10? All right, right? inspiration. Mm -hmm. Is yep. that a D8 a or D10. a D10? Okay, sweet. It's a D10. And then the drum uh, solo sets up Alora, and Alora just completely nails it with her pipes as she gives this beautiful solo for about a minute or two. And then he starts the drum solo again, and then sends it off to Sina. Sina, roll a performance check. Oh, God. Guidance. Guidance. Guidance as Kurtz also joins in on the dancing and uh, puts his arm... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, with a d4. Roll that d4. Roll that. Beautiful bean footage. Oof. With a 24, Cinna just takes the cake as she finishes it out strong. And the rest of the carnival it just it erupts in laughter and clapping, uh, all cheering for Cinna and Alora. Uh, but they definitely pick up Cinna on their shoulders as she's lifted up, hoisted up. Oh, and God. At this, at this moment, you all feel, like, just so incredibly happy. It, it just really reaches out to you uh, this moment in time. Like, after being in Embla and seeing all that death these past few days, just the somberness of the Underdark it started to get to you. But now, you almost feel at peace. Except for the un Almost. unnerving fact that there are ten hooded sugar skull mask wearing <laughs> silent creatures just staring at us from the side. Yep. Yep. Ah, oh, they could come in and do scary bones or spooky bones or whatever it is. Scary <laughs> skeletons. Spooky scary skeleton? Yeah, spooky scary skeleton. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> but after a little bit of partying and hanging out and enjoying yourselves, uh, they all begin to uh, say that they need to move on. And that it is time for them to pack up and head to Stonehold. Yeah.
pocket. Wow. And so you see them pack up their carts and begin heading towards Embla before taking a turn down one of those small, many cracks here in the underworld. They must know something that you don't because it is off the main road and they disappear through that crevice. They're literally taking the highway and we're taking the scenic route. <laughs> You are now left alone. And according to my notes, it is the second half of the third day, so you are ready for a uh, rest. I would like one, yeah. All right. So, uh, would anyone like to do anything? While we were in fucking yeah, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but we didn't. Would anyone like to do anything before bed? Um, I would like... One second, I need to look it up. Um, are we doing a long rest or a short rest? Long rest. Okay, never mind. All right. Um. Excuse me. Um, He's finishing the food. It is now. Uh, That's okay. Take your time. Don't choke. While while we set up our our uh, campfire for dinner and, and getting ready for bed. I'm just going to sort of sit there and be like. So there's a service that the carnival offers off the books that I have made a contact for. Okay. Seems for a price they'll uh, lure someone to the carnival and assassinate them for us. So, like, that kind of friend. Um, interesting. Okay. You know, when I make friends, normally it's, like, super different than that. Um, <laughs> so that that was the, sounds uh, like normal friends. I was going to say, friends, friends do crazy things for each other. Um, do they? <laughs> I mean, Wait, mine you, do. Do I you really not like have friends that kill people? I, I really like, well, I'm friends with you guys, so I think that <laughs> well, that's fair. answers that question. Um, <laughs> but I will say that in no way, shape, or form would I... That you cut out. Me. You cut out. You cut out. Oh, I wouldn't kill anybody for you guys that wasn't also trying to kill you or me. Also, I, I'm kind of too big to be an assassin, I think. Uh, I wouldn't say that. so. You could be a really good assassin, Sparlina. No right, one ever yeah, suspects the mushroom. Right. If exactly. Every, if every uh, contact or every kill that I had was in the fungal forest, then perhaps <laughs> I would then get away with it. I mean, uh, look at me. I'm a fur bug and you know, if you get a job, you get a job, and just do it, you know? But, you know what? It's up to you if you want to be an assassin or not. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm comfortable where I'm at. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Oh, you say that until they give you enough money. And it's, you know, pillage the village. Honestly, um, money is not as important to me as it seems to be some of you. Yeah, they give you a lot of money to to do that kind of thing, and then you just gotta make sure you don't get caught and have to pay your way out of jail. That's always fun. Right, and then you have to make sure you sleep at night, somehow. Um, I mean, I sleep pretty well. Is this the, the only one of us that have had actual nightmares in front of the, oh, the whole group? <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Oh, cool. It's cool. It's fine. Good. Um... Uh, Sparlina, do you have the ability to cast a spell that creates moonlight? Yeah. I'd, I'd like to try something before bed if, if you're up for it. I could use Kurtz, I could use your help as well as uh, Finna's as well. Okay. What, what's going on? So, uh, uh, skipping into like montage sequence, um, mm -hmm. what I'd like to try to do is either myself or Kurtz, I have horrible religion, um, try to contact our god, as per the rules of the game, and mm -hmm. see if we can get a glimpse of why 
this the moon shard that was stolen is so important to the the goals of those in Holoth. Um, and by and as part of this call, um, I would put my moon blade uh, into the center of all of us, and then uh, have Sporlina cast moonbeam onto the moon blade, and sort of connect that with the moon shard that was taken. Sort of make this sort of like holy connection of energy in our space. I mean, um, yeah, I'd be down. I can also add my moon sickles. Hell yeah. Anything. All the moon stuff. All the moon stuff. <laughs> I could add my full moon, if that helps. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, cast, I'll cast moonbeam right on you. Asses right out, everyone. Um, <laughs> well, no, I was going to say that if, if Kurtz is going to be the one rolling this, because I think his religion is pretty high, um, I could also, what's, since what's his god is the god of war, I, I would say we all drip some blood into the middle, too. Blood to uh, the blood guy! Uh, my religion is plus six, for the record. Also, my god is a nature god. There you go. So... Uh, plus the god of... Well, yes, the god of war. Also the god of... Hang on. It's My god isn't just the god of war. There's bunch of stuff <laughs> my god is the natural force tm my god is it I have... god is it? <laughs> all right so it sounds like cinna sporlina and kurtz are all helping uh kaylor are you gonna do anything to help in this process god i don't even know what i would do um be a cheerleader that's like me <laughs> Yeah, I um, I contribute some of my weird blood, and then I do my weird Kalor stare, overlooking the thing, giving my moral support. Manifesting, <laughs> baby, manifest. All right, uh, Mork, do you do anything to help? Uh, specifically, Mork says no one doesn't even watch the thing. Because he's he is tried, Aliza. he has tried to pray to a god, and the gods didn't answer him. Somebody else did. That's fair. I can get behind that. I'd be a little freaked out too. And I'm going to ask my patron. I'm going to ask my. I'm going to try and use my the same thing they're doing, but I want to ask the patron. We're gonna we're, we'll cover that in a second. All right, so cool. we all we all doing this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nothing quite like culty stuff in the evening. So, you all gather around as you hold out the moon blade, and Sporlina casts. What do you cast again? Moonbeam. All right. Uh, uh, not. I'll make sure it's not on anyone because it will damage people. Power of the moon. <laughs> and parallel from each other across this this four four dot circle and she's got her moon sickle out i've got my moon blade out and they're sort of touching them all right so let's see here i'm I, i'm frantically adding uh some characters that you are about to see if this okay. is successful <laughs> which is why i'm Paying so attention quiet. so so well. Uh, all right. So uh, role play. Go ahead. Tell tell me what you all do. I just uh, follow Alora's instructions, and I'm kind of just quietly participating because I don't know what's going to go happen. Just outside the perimeter of us too, we are being circled by the ten ghouls as well, all with their hands up and like a weird, uh, like. Celebratory Culty manner. Pattern. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we a cult? Is this? My father warned me about these. This does seem <laughs> rather cultish, we, but we don't you know use what? The word cult. <laughs> we use commune. <laughs> like yes, yes, it does seem rather cultish, but eh, whatever. I've probably done worse in college. Oh uh, right. So, uh, I'm going to need 
a religion check with advantage. Plus inspiration. And guidance. Sick. All right. Plus inspiration, plus guidance. And Cinna, you oh, feel... Oh, <laughs> Give us those damn. extra rolls. Let's just see how high... Cinna, uh, you feel a tug at your magical ability. You feel something p get inside your head and is telling you to cast scrying. I don't have scry. Do I have scrying? Maybe not right prepared. now. I don't. I was gonna say I don't think I have scrying prepared. Sporalina, there is someone talking to you, <laughs> <laughs> and they are I asking got message. you to uh do scrying if you have it <laughs> I, I have it prepared too okay perfect i'm sorry that's fine that's fine didn't mean to uh, ruin the moment who needs a crystal ball and you feel it and it, it's just like calling to you it's forcing you not forcing you but it's like you feel the need to do this right now yep and just as you cast it you all look upon the blade of the moon blade and it becomes shimmery and then a picture begins to form and as it is answering the question of the moon shard you see in front of you a picture of the moon shard first it's still uh looking like it is uh in its container but it is not in its typical location at the cathedral you see it on a mantle, somewhere dark, and then the image goes black. It then rushes, the image changes to another room inside the same building. As you see, a drow female muttering to herself. She has that thousand yard stare, almost, and she is just muttering saying something to herself and next to her are two other drow definitely less noticeable but they seem to be writing down everything whatever she is saying and then it shivers away all the way to the top of the tower that you could see going through all the different stairs until you're at the very top and you see in front of you a very, very large crystal-like structure in the middle of a very domed room as you could hear screaming and screaming as one of the drow shouts in Undercommon, blessed be those who will sacrifice themselves in honor of Naranius. And you see her toss the screaming drow into the crystal that absorbs that screaming person, and the echoes are silenced. And then the moon shard goes back to its shimmering silver that it once was. Okay, so are they using it to rip the souls out of people, or to put the souls into things, or both? Kurtz, did it feel like your soul was getting ripped from you when you touched the moon shard? Well, it uh, it did kill me, um, so, so... yes, <laughs> but um, from my experience, before I died, I was transported to a loft. Kind of like a flying thing. I don't know. It was very weird. But the drow muttering stuff definitely looks like she touched it and didn't die. Which I assume is what the other two were writing down. Like what she saw. Yeah. Do you think it's a way to see things that you're not meant to see? Or see the future? I don't know. Uh, all I know is I saw a lot of... So probably more on the things that you shouldn't see or shouldn't be able to see or don't have knowledge of. 
Well, Halaf is in our future, so... I think that might have been Marina Golian. Who? The... Um, from the readings that we did... Uh, the oh, yeah. Truest daughter of Melora. Um, she's known as the Chosen of Naranius. Well, I kind of wish we didn't do that now. What is that? I didn't need to see that before I go to sleep. Now I'm not going to be able to sleep. Yeah, you'll be fine. We've seen more horrible things in our time together, Kurt. Yeah, but it's less about the horrible of this current and more of the, ah, oh, we're going to have to deal with that later. I get that, but still. Definitely got our work cut out for us. That was interesting. I can't believe the, it actually worked. The first drow that we saw, did she seem like she was wearing like like priestess or commoner clothes, or did she seem like she might have also been a Golian? Nick and Insight check. Guidance? Sure. Guidance. Because if it's something that's telling them about the future or about things going on elsewhere, it could possibly be uh, other Golian. Altoria? Eyes and ears what can be seen or heard. Oh, sorry. But we can Did you roll inside? Yeah, 13. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Uh, 13. Mm. You know that uh, the chosen of Naronius. You know that she would be more of a priest, a uh, cleric, if you will. And Maltora, Maltoria, a younger daughter of Maleth Gullion, would be more cherished and in more ceremonial gowns. And you notice that, in fact, yes. It was more ceremonial gowns, comfort gowns, not priest clothing. Like her sleepy time clothes? Comfort clothing. Oh, they're mad. Hearing they're mad on their... Oh, and he updated the names. Updated one name. Oh, so the other draw was not... Uh, Moroni, Moronia, Moroin. Uh, no, you. Oh, well, actually, I take that back. Yes. Sorry. Not, uh, sorry. you. The from this drow, you did get priest vibes. You absolutely got priest vibes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cause she's fucking the one sacrificing people to the god. All right. So they're mad. And definitely confirmed that they're in service to an evil deity and sacrificing their own citizens, although to what end? No surprise there. As, as the gods work in this universe, is it similar to a lot of other D&D sort of lore where they're, they're sort of locked beyond our dimension and and could only be like brought in through like severely uh severely catastrophic meat. Uh roll a religion check, DC ten. <sighs> <laughs> I have to roll a nine or higher, guys. Come on. And you did very well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so 
you recall that uh, gods in this world have... You've never seen a god in this world. Definitely not. You have heard of gods taking an avatar-like form in this world, as well as uh, sending demigods to do their bidding. So we should look out for a nine-foot-tall blue creature with tentacles in its hair? Maybe. An avatar form. I got it. <laughs> I did. Great. Well, it didn't really tell us what the moon shard does, except for make you go mad or kill you. So, so not 100% on what their need for it is unless it's just giving them some sort of tactical advantage overall i'd say that was a, a successful a successful um collaboration of our powers good job everyone bravo <laughs> little little uh little golf clap around. Cinna, Sporlina, Elora, and barely Kurt get inspiration. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, Morik, you wanted to do something? Uh, yeah. When we have to sleep, just a question. Do we have to take off our armor? Yes, right? that's definitely mandatory. Uh, yeah, otherwise you get exhaustion. You don't so... I'm just going to assume, Alora, I'll do, like, last watch when I wake up. So I'm, like, taking off my armor that I have, and and I'm just going to, like, kind of dip my head to my back and be like, Gods, huh? Fucking never answered me, but you did. So I guess I could ask you, do you know about this shit? You hear what sounds like... First off, uh, I don't think anyone's doing watches anymore. I think the uh, zombie boys are the ones really doing the watching. And right. So, but so I mean, it doesn't matter. You could like wake up in the middle of the night and do this. I mean, it's not going to stop your long rest. Um, but yeah, as you do this, you hear uh, what sounds like uh, bubbles bubbling in your ear, as you hear a voice come over you. Well, let's see what we can find out roll a religion check so what is your question specifically i don't know i just i think that's I need to know how to get to that thing. I need to know how to get specifically to where they store that thing. So that I can get in there and get it. What thing are we talking about? Moon chart. Where do they keep it usually? Well, did you ask your companions who did all that work to figure it out? No. Of course not. Maybe it's time that you rely on those immediate to you than bothering me. Oof. I just figured you had more power than, you know, a god, potentially. I guess not. I made you my champion for yeah. a reason. I'm not going to hand you things. If you are not willing to work... I didn't then... say I wasn't willing to work. I just mean, what would you like if you know to get me that information? What can I do for you? I think that you need to focus on what is directly in front of you first. Boing! And if you bother me with such insolence and attitude again, well, 
I don't need you. That's fair. What's the uh, what's the highest passive perception somebody has? Not mine. Um, I've got a twenty-one. Shit. Holy shit! Really? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> I also have a twenty-one. Oh god! <laughs> nice. oh, brainy twins. Yeah. Roll that stealth check. Uh, okay. I'm assuming I don't have advantage because this isn't related to me walking around. Yeah. yeah. Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> wow. You were pretty quiet. And I mean, I was asleep. pretty quiet. I was pretty quiet. The really, the big question I had, um, and, and why I say that, because I kind of, I forgot to tell Jesse, but basically, um, whenever that talking has happened, like those with like a 21, if you're kind of like just nearby, hang it out, you can just see like without my armor on specifically, which is why I asked, like you can see the, there's like a red glow under my shirt whenever that person talks, basically. Hmm. Neat. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, if there's, I think that's pretty much it. She doesn't respond to anything else. Uh, yeah. As for the rest of you, anything else before bed? Um. No, I'm. I don't really have anything, honestly. Oh, Just set kind up, of set up our tent next to Kurtz and fuck really loudly. Yeah, got it. Yep. Yeah, he'll he'll meditate a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a con save for concentration. <laughs> Let's see if they um, break your concentration. DC 10. Oh, no. <laughs> I just realized I have to meditate every day as part of my religion. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you, they do not break your concentration. You are in full meditation mode. You probably have just had enough and you just don't care anymore. Do you? Isn't that correct? Oh, he never really cared either. It was just he didn't want it to be so loud. <laughs> All right. Your sister's well. a screamer. Get over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, you may all take a long rest. Ta uh, switch out any uh, spells that you so desire. Uh, do all the things a long rest should do. And spoilerly, not I did see that survival check. You guys are good to yeah, go. Yeah, she had to go to the potty. So. Oh, your potty. I took a dump right before. It was great. Actually. I know. We 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 know. You told us. We heard. <laughs> you heard. <laughs> Thought I was muted. <laughs> no, I, we we heard it on the Richter scale. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude. All right. Anyway, so uh, do I have music? I do. So you guys wake up and are ready to go. Sporolina, you search and uh, you feel confident in your abilities. Uh, let's see. Kalor, give me a d20. It is a 14 or higher is an encounter, and you have a re-roll. Yay. Here we go. This is the fourth and, day, yes? Uh, first half of fourth day, yes. First half of fourth day equal no encounter. All right. Spoiler list, survival check, please. Uh, can you roll it for her off of her character? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I will just roll a d20 and add 10 to it. That is definitely a... Because uh, it was a DC 18. That is good. Uh, Kurtz, roll me a d20. DC of 14. And you have a reroll. Okay. That is going to be an encounter. Would you like to reroll? Uh... How many more days do we have? Uh, one. One day to the to uh, uh, lake a specific lake. Hmm. Not to Vethan's hold. Mm, risk it for the biscuit or no risk it. It's your choice. You're on the spot. <sighs> I'll take the encounter. You take the encounter. Yeah. All right. Roll me a sexy, sexy d. Four. Nope, it's a d20. Wait, hold on. I need to get to the page. I did not because we're now in the deep. The deep, 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 Actually, deep, deep, deep. Oh, the one who said. Got it. 
Okay. Uh, all right. Roll me a. Uh, yeah. Roll me a d twenty. Seventeen. Okay. And roll me a d one hundred. Ooh, you want to use your reroll? Would you like yep. to use your reroll? I can't remember if high is good or bad. High, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll go for it. See what happens. 100. 100. Oh. 44. I think that we rolled a 99 once and it was the purple worms. Mm. That's right. Got it. I equals bad. Oh, cool. Monster, I've never heard of. Can it be a flump? So, as you guys are traveling forward, uh, I'm gonna need you guys are traveling through the Underdark. Uh, everything's relatively normal, and then you feel uh, something beneath your feet as it crackles and crumbles. I'm gonna need you all to make dexterity saves. DC 18. I swear to God, if I fall in a river again. That's <laughs> Kurtz. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm falling over again. <laughs> How very fitting. Uh, Alright, so, Kurtz, you all are able to save yourselves as it cracks and crumbles beneath your feet, but unfortunately, uh, also... I, I don't have plus five to mine. Oh, you do not have plus five. The Elora and Kurtz are fallen. She helps us, but no... <laughs> This is how it happened last time. It was Kurtz and Alora falling in a river because yep. we couldn't make the deck safe. Can I try and grab Alora? Uh, no. You made your own oh, deck okay. save. Oh, okay. uh, to save myself. Yep, to save yourself. And I'm trying to find... To With a nat bar. 20, can he or try to grab Kurtz or me? No. It'll be more fun this way. There it is! I found it. Jesus Christ! There are so many freaking maps. Okay. I would I would like to Jesus. do something uh, depending on how fast this I goes. I see eggs. So, Kurtz, zoop, and Elora, zoop. You guys fall all the way to the bottom. First taking. Uh, Trying to figure out how deep it is. Ah uh, shit. Uh, you take oh. 21 points of bludgeoning damage as you boom, 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 just keep on sliding down, hitting a few rocks on your way down as you arrive in what seems to be a open room. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Sorry, you seem to have arrived in an open room with stalagmites and stalactites, and it smells rancid. Real bad in here. Um, I have 120 feet of dark vision. Can I see anything? Uh, in this yeah, pole? you can you can see them at the bottom. You are over here, uh, Mark. So you're like up the slope. It's a very steep slope, but you're you can see down at them right now. You can't see into this place though. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take out one of the many pieces of rope that I have and uh, hand it to Alora. Actually, no, I have a python too. I'm going to hold out a python as I tie it around it and have Alora smash it whenever she can. Sure. Uh, what do you mean smash it? Oh, fuck. You're down the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I'm like, I'm like, I look up and I'm like, all right, Alora. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'll take out the the little uh, hammer that I have and pound it in there. I'm gonna and I'll add uh, 50 feet of rope to this and start to go. I'm gonna relight the candle and Kurtz is sure. Uh, as it relights, uh, you can see a um, 
in what looks to be a grum uh no i'm sorry a dung pile uh you can see a uh a shimmer a shimmy shimmying over in this what smells like dung i'm not seeing it pink oh i'm sorry Zoop. Although that's pretty far it. away. That's why probably I probably don't see it yet. We can see it. We can see it. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm saying like the candle oh. does not reach that far. Do you get? You guys do have dark vision? Uh, I I can do something, but it's probably a bad idea. All right, you don't see any shimmering yet. yet. <laughs> uh, Laura, should I light this place up? Sure. I'm gonna just touch myself for 21 points of healing really quick. Sure. Yeah, I'll let her do that first. All right, she touches herself. Feel good. Uh, Morik, are you are you coming down? Okay. Yeah, after I smash the python in, uh, I'll with the rope. I will uh, go down. All right, and as you go down, you are just illuminated with some beautiful light coming from this uh, uh, camp cavern that you can see. And now you can see a shimmer, shimmer, shimmer uh, in this what looks to be dung pile. Um, a shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Okay, am I down here at this point? Uh, yeah, you can drop a token. I'll, I'll let you. Uh, give me athletics or a bags check first. Uh, no we'll do that yes. first, just to see if you make your way down this very steep slope. Uh, it's only a DC 15, so I... Wow, okay, never mind. Uh, yep, you yeah, fall... Yeah, with the rope you and everything? It... Shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, even with advantage, yeah. So you, I'd say you got halfway, so you'd only take... 10 points of damage. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. As you look around, uh, you can see that, yes, these eggs are very much cracked and open. I definitely have my sword and my shield. Sure. Just Where gonna, the like, hell is my goddamn character? Turn to Kurtz and do, like, the two fingers to the eyes and then, like, a point to my back. I'll, uh, I'll head over to the poop pile. Okay. You can head over to the poop pile. Uh, Kurt stations uh, right here and is on very high alert. <laughs> All right. Sparlu, do you think we should go down there? I'm going to look up. Uh, probably. <laughs> I was trying to figure out like the the most gr gracious way I could get down there. <laughs> Any Anything in our ceiling? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Sporolina and Cinna and Kalor, you have a beautiful rope uh, that Mork put on you. Uh, Mork, like a little drip of uh, of uh, cave water just like drips right in your eye. You're like, Damn it, can't see anything now. Uh, what is it, a dexterity? <laughs> uh, athletics or acrobatics, whichever you prefer, with okay. advantage for the rope. Cinna, you go down, not a problem. Yes. Nice. Sporolina, you go down without high a problem. Five. Kalor. Do you think my high fives are kind of squishy? Yeah, I mean, like it, it's a, it feels just a little squishier than like a human hand, but it's like high fiving it. a non Newtonian fluid. If you yeah. can <laughs> have a me in a small pond of water, do you think I soak up most of the water? <laughs> um, I don't feel like you would soak up that much water because aren't you mostly water? Yeah, water attracts water. Yeah, but I mean, you can't like have a super like you can't be super hydrated. That's fair. Uh, Mark your uh, microphone. God damn. And just, Kalor? I'll just fly down assuming it's dark enough. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, not anymore because of daylight. Up he casts top. daylight, so it's like, okay. yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you probably have like five or ten feet of like really brightness that you get into eventually. So you'll have to like slide down the rest of the way. Uh, give me an acrobatics or athletics check. We'll say a DC of 15. All right. And it's only 10 feet, so even if you don't make it, it's not going to be a lot of damage if you don't. You One make it just fine. <laughs> you, you slink into the shadows, and just as the light hits you, you turn back into your normal self and just slide the west, rest of the way down on the slick, smooth slate. And I'll dump your token for you. Okay, poke through the dung with my sword. Uh, yeah, as you poke through, uh, give me an investigation check. I think more cast detect magic as well. Ah, all right. Uh, so 
as you, well, give me an investigation check with advantage as Morik helps you uh, uh, poke through. I assume, Morik, you're right there with them. Yeah, I was going to cast Detect Magic and then uh, walk up through, um, walk up to them. Yeah, you detect uh, six items of pinging magic. All inside this thing? Yep, all inside that thing. And with that 19, Alora, you are able to pick out a uh, a, ver a ring that is uh, really hot to the touch. Very hot. Uh, you find a, a stone very similar to the one circling around Kurtz's head at the moment. Uh, some bracers that are giving off a magical uh, aura. A rod another ring and uh, a uh, what do you call it? This would be a stickle. A small little sickle. Well, obviously something uh, something ate something that couldn't quite uh, digest all the way through. I'll start picking the things out and sliding them across the floor. I'll mage hand them into the bag of holding. Sure. Oh. Don't see anything around here right now, but doesn't mean they won't be back if this is some kind of breeding ground. Yeah, we should get the fuck out of here. Uh, Cinna and Kurtz, uh, with your passive perception, uh, you're able to notice that these eggs are very much uh, broken, and you also notice something about them. You don't smell any rotten eggs. Hmm. Yeah, Could maybe we babies. should get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think it's a good idea, let's go. Or we could raise our own raptor mounts. No. How many eggs are there in cracked? Uh, there seems to be... Make an investigation check as you have to count the eggs and such. Not my strong suit. I cannot count. You, uh, you can you can count. There's about uh, six of them. But with that investigation check, you also notice that the eggs there is a remnant of yolk. Yep, they hatched. Ate, or something ate the egg. Oh, if it's yolk, yeah. Mm -mm. We gotta go. Well, maybe not. If it eats eggs, it's probably not looking for a full-sized meal. And there was no magic ping from over here, right? Um, Correct. Can I short pat uh, Kurtz as he says a full-sized meal? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you're kind of like a snack. Look, not compared to the egg. Fair. <laughs> Was it, what was that nature for, baby? Oh, I was trying to see what kind of eggs they were. Okay, uh, that nature check. Uh, you are able to identify them as uh, some sort of a... What would be... Some sort of a large lizard. Uh, maybe 18. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Uh, you identify it as, uh, like, basilisk. Oh, sick. So they're like basilisk eggs. What? Those okay, let's go. Not very fun to deal with. So yes, let's claim back up the rope, please. Let's go. Uh, Kurtz will be the well, last I've one. Never, but I've like, never seen a basilisk in person. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to. Kurtz, keep moving. Think of all the fun things that we could harvest off of it. I'm just gonna start violently slapping Sporalina's ass for her to get moving. <laughs> Stop it. Let's I hope go. Doesn't awaken anything in me. I, I don't know what. I. I don't care if it does or not. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Tentacles in. Uh, I don't know what will. I'm assuming it's a another acrobatics or athletics to get back up. Indeed. Okay. So, uh, Cinna, as you are the first one to head back up, I will put you right there, and I'm going to move Kalor and Mork right behind you. 
shoot, and I'll put you guys right there. I'm just assuming you guys are close to each other. Is that okay? Uh, I'm gonna let Sporolina. Back. I'm gonna let Sporolina go in front of me. Okay. Okay. And uh, Cinna, you you are making good progress. You are coming up without an issue. And let's... cool, 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 cool. Cinna, you're a twenty-one passive perception. Yeah, I'm at twenty-two. What? <laughs> All right. Are you motherfucking kidding me? <laughs> Same <No. laughs> Cinna, as you guys are coming up, uh, you see something move off the side of the cave, on the steep part of the cave, uh, coming out from uh, one of its uh, side pockets. You thought that this cave was just a completely smooth cave all around. But as you can see, the stone just kind of melds into whatever is moving up ahead of you. Oh, nice. And <laughs> as it does, its large eye peers out from the stone as it begins to slide down. And we're going to roll look at for it. initiative. As you see in front of you, a large two-legged creature... Oh, so one that's eye that's coming it. at you. That's well, a very ugly. At, if I remember correctly, bass ghosts are only like in D D anyway. They're only like a CR three. So I was like, I don't know why you guys are so afraid of a bass. Because they yeah, it's the thing that ate stone. the basilisk, not uh. <laughs> I'll see you guys at the bottom of initiative order. <laughs> oh, Laura. Easy peats, I have an advantage. Too. Everybody run behind me and I'll soak up all the damage. Did mine not? Yeah, mine didn't get in. What was it? 18. Okay. One of these days I'll remember. <laughs> Alright, like we are all in. Alright, know your order, know what you're gonna do, and let's make this go. Uh, so, Sporlina, you see these two creatures begin coming down the rope, sliding down, and one is heading straight for Senna. What are you doing? Okay, my god. Uh, we are outside, correct? Uh, you guys are at the bottom of the cave. Oh, okay. I, okay, so I guess we are technically not in a cave. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Fuck. Fuck a doodle do. Um. There's two of you in front of me, too. Oh, I know. We're gonna, at first. Uh. We are going to bark skin Cinna. Thank you! So she has an AC of 16. Or, uh, sorry. Yeah, an AC. Yeah. Uh, Thank you! <laughs> you're welcome. That off. Um, none of us are hurt. I don't. Well, the two that fell, I guess, would be. But um, I don't have a bonus action. That is a cantrip. So I think that's my turn. All right. And next is Mark. Um. So, is one of them at the very bottom of this thing now? Uh, like, let's say he's about it? five feet from Cinna. Okay, so I can I can see him physically. Sure, yeah. Yeah, physically. What if I'm back here? Can I see it? Yeah, don't gender the mo the monster more. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll say you can barely see it. It's gonna be a tight. It's gonna be a tight way of being able. Would to see you it say now. that it has? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Partial coverage? Three quarters cover. Sure. Well, I ignore that anyway. <laughs> you have sharpshooter. I do have sharpshooter. All right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna look over at Kurtz and I'm gonna be like, I might need a little help with this, and I'm going to say the oath on this one here. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot with the oath bow at my negative five. 
So okay. I'm just I gonna get, give it to you anyway. I get oath. I get advantage. That's a crit. Oh, plus <laughs> So what is that? That's a 15 plus uh, 24. And then that you did you did you say that this was your oath? Yeah, this was my my All right, oath. This is 57 and, and total. It's a sharpshooter shot. This is why I said, "Hey, it's a plus 10." Yeah. So plus 67. As you shoot it, you shoot it right through the nostril, and it just goes right out the back of its skull. And it's still coming at Cinna, full force now with a fury that you did not see before. And I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm in um, danger. Yeah, you are. Um, okay, so I'm gonna summon my my boy uh, right here, uh, and I'll take a swing with that as well. All right. Because I believe I don't need to use that. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're solid there. I don't have to worry about, um, I still have a bonus action. That's what I was just double checking. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll do my, uh, how do I do this? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. 19 will hit. And, and that's it damage yeah that'll do damage are you concentrating on the tentacle it's not concentration all right Kaylor, it's your turn we are gonna go with in the front we're gonna do a nice simple safe ray of sickness we are going to if i can get this slots to work here we go Right. That is definitely going to hit, and we are going to roll. I am rolling like balls. That's going to do that damage. Poison. And it is poisoned, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, the roll is to see if it's um, getting poisoned or not. It, it's going to get the damage, I think, regardless. Um, and then I'll... Me... I can go ahead and display that, and then I'll just get my cantrip off, and that'll be it. Hey, what's your cantrip? Firebolt. Are you dueling spells or something? Uh, no. Firebolt's an action. Oh, fire, firebolt's an action. Oh, wait, um... Quick and spell. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just quick and spell on it. Yeah. Fuck you, Brad. <laughs> And I'll be it. All right. Kaylor. Nope, that was Cinna. All right. Kaylor, are you going to move at all? Um, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get, um. Behind uh, the tank, maybe? <laughs> you can go. Go. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go four. right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Senna. <laughs> am I on the am, am I on solid land right now, or am I still holding onto the rope? Yeah, it's a very steep incline, but you're definitely on land. Okay, like would I have an opportunity to cast a spell? Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, I am going to cast shatter right in between the two of them. All right. Um, and I am going to need a con save from both of them. Yep, that is going to be a 17 and a 22. Damn it, they both they both pass. Roll but it. They stay. They will take half damage. And points. Not bad. Um. And so I I can move right. Mm -hmm. So, like. Is this upper area, like? That's rock. 
Like, but it where? Okay, so where's the upper area from where the rope is? Uh, where the where these Petrus are. Okay. They are coming down said slope. You need to oh, get up that slope. Okay. 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 I, you know, I'm gonna... Is this area flat? Uh, you just let go of the rope and slid down about five feet, and now you're right where Sporolina is. Uh, you can go behind her if you so desire. Where yep. Laura is. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Curtsy boy. Was, sorry. I was just making sure this doesn't require. Oh, good lord. Why can't I not find it anymore? Oh, good lord. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, I will need both of them to make a deck save. Is there plus seven? Uh, what is up with these gosh darn rolls? Let's go. Okay, they take full damage. Fire and Radiant. Alright, that's, uh, what, 39? Yes. 29. 29. Alright, as the Fire and Radiant damage just erupts in front of them, uh, it is their turn. Anything else? That is it. Alright, this creature is going to rush forward, and you can see its enormity it just plowing through the dirt and the stone, Sporolina, as it's right in front of you, and it is going to open its mouth, and <laughs> as I'm going to need you all to make dexterity saves, Sporolina, Cinna, and Laura. You guys both have plus five. Nice. Nice, Alora. Nice. All right. Uh, well, you all take half damage. That could have been a great roll. Uh, that is going to be 18 points of damage of acid damage specifically. Ugh. It burns us, Precious. It burns us. And it is going to, uh, at this point, use its bonus action to meld into the stone and reappear right here behind Cinna. Elora. Okay. I hate being at the end of the combat because all my shit has to change. Um, Sorry. That's right. the way the dice roll. Um, we're going to go ahead and cast bonus action Spirit Shred. Uh, giving all of my, uh, one of those types of damage, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and spin around Cinna here, and we're gonna go ahead and do full attack on Alright. Have at it. No, have at ye. Tamagotchi? Uh, both will miss. Oh, dear God, man. Hey, just I feel you. Apparently, apparently you went here in the same a two, way. Two, two, and a one. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, I guess that's my fucking whole turn. Okay. As this guy comes down, uh, what would he want? People, what do you want? A mushroom person? Probably I not. am delicious. Why do you never hit me? It hurts my feelings. Am I not killable? Above Very a much hundred not. or above a fifty. Above a 50, they're going for Alora and not Sporlina. 56. Uh, Alright, they're going to use their reach and is going to first bite Elora with a plus 7. Do it, bitch. That is a not going to hit your AC. Uh, th they'll try with Sporlina now as they munch on Spor uh, Elora's. Uh, that's not going to hit Sporlina either as they try to munch on both of you. Uh, and lastly, it's gonna be Claws for you, Sporlina. That'll definitely hit plus seven. And you are going to take... It's plus six. Uh, 33 slashing damage. And you are grappled. And this grapple is restrained. So you are grappled and restrained. I intercept eight points of that damage. 
All right. So I'm sorry. What do I take? Thirty-three minus eight. Twenty-five. Thank you. <laughs> do you know All I right. give my players inspiration if they do the math for me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, that's a very good initiative for. <laughs> as you are, as you are grappled, uh, as you are grappled, you see its mouth open, ready to ingest you. Sporlina, it is your turn. Delish. Um, okay. Unfortunately for him, I'm immune to fright, so he doesn't scare me, bitch. I'm going to... Damn, I think I can see. Oh, wrong, hold on, wrong one. Not you, not you. Okay. It's a 60 foot cube. Okay. So I'm gonna get both of them in that cube. And then... So I'm going to cast Wrath of Nature at level 5, because that's what it is. Um, and that's my action to cast. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to, in that cube, start hucking rocks at these guys. Uh, I'll start with the first, the one that's got me grappled. What's my spell attack? Oh, a 17 plus 13. I'm going to yeah, go ahead and see that. Probably hits. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, that's the only downside to these. You can't, like, roll. Rocks at the vault 10. 3d8. 3D8. And strength 15. saves. If they... yeah. Strength saves? Yep, or fall prone. Yeah, but you're not or fall prone, yeah. Uh, it's saved. Okay. Alright, as uh, a rock just smashes into its face. Uh, and then I think that will be my turn. Me turn. Um, I believe right. this stays up. Yeah. Uh, is this- is this concentration? Yep. Oh, it is. I'm concentrating. So you, on, yeah. so Cinna lost her bark skin. Yeah, oh, no. sorry, Cinna. <laughs> it's okay. I'm the one being eaten, so. <laughs> no, I I appreciate you sharing some strength because I have none. All right, that is Mork's turn. Oh, crapola. Uh. I still get advantage on the same guy. I see he's... I see my... Yeah. I gotta... I have to continue to attack her. I will move my... Uh, I'm gonna move my tentacle up 10 feet, hit with that first, and then I will do my oath bow on the other guy. So... Alright, so tentacle on this guy, oath bow on this guy. Oh, I thought Tentacle's I could... Tentacle's miss. That's my bad. Uh, at the end of my turn, Jesse roots and binds. Uh, I thought I was only allowed to pick one of those things to do. Oh, you could do multiple? Yeah, yeah I guess all of them do that. One creature so... of her choice that's on the ground has to do a strength save or be restrained. All right, so I believe I already rolled the strength save, right? It's for a different thing. It's for a different oh. thing. All right. Sorry, Mark. Sorry, you're good. Uh, yeah, save. Sorry. You're good. More and if Kurtz doesn't, fail. yeah, if Kurtz doesn't give me his thing, then that's fails. All right. And Kalor. All right. Okay. Are going to. Go ahead and let's see. I'm gonna target um, this one with a haste with a uh, fast cast cantrip. Fast cast cantrip. All right. All right. All right. Quick and spell. Yeah, that's what it's called. All right. Got that. Fourteen's gonna miss. All righty. And then I'm gonna target the other one with uh, another level four ray of sickness. 
All right. Oh, wait, uh, uh, sorry. Wrong, wrong cast level. Um, uh, we can keep the roll, I guess, but do I need to re-roll the damage? I haven't looked at the roll yet. Yeah, roll, re-roll. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 15 will miss, but right. oh. uh, that damage still happens, I believe. So that's going to be 5, 15, 20. So that's half damage, and he's not poisoned. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. What were you going to say, Laura? This one, this one is the one that hit me, right? I uh, no, it was this one. Oh, okay. They have a reach. Because this one was uh, poisoned. I didn't know if I had this. No, this one puked on all of you. Oh, that's right. All right, Kayla, anything else? Uh, I'm gonna go valiantly hide behind a rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Very valiant. Cinna, you feel your bark skin wane as Sporlina is now focusing on other things. Fuck. And Cinna, what you doing? Um, I. Oh shit. Um. Would I be able to... Okay, I'm not moving exactly, but would I be able to... Oh, that's not what I want to do. You click on my icon. Okay, no, no, stop it. Would I be able to move here and cast Thunder Wave away from Alora, Or would that hit her? Thunder Wave. What's the range on Thunder Wave? Uh, 15. Yeah, you're too close. Hit me. E and you hit hurts, by the way. <laughs> but if it's... Oh, okay, I guess... I believe Does Thunder Wave come from you? I believe it comes from yourself. Right? I... Where's that thunder clap? I cannot recall. It's a 15 It'll say at the top. You oh, it range. comes from me. Okay. Range of self. So yes, it comes from you. Okay. So it would hit... Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm not actually moving this is just a hypothetical question sure, sure. oh jeez okay um i am sorry little brother i'm gonna have to hit you up can i get a um con save from all y'all so that's mork kurt oh shit Delora, never mind Orlina, never mind never mind never mind. <laughs> never mind never mind okay okay what you want to do <laughs> um well, uh, shit. Uh, I guess I'm going to hit it with my sword because I don't want to hit everybody. Sure, 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 sure. Go ahead. 19 will absolutely hit. Roll damage. Oh, sweet. Awesome. That actually did something. Wow. Cinna. Okay. How would you like to kill this Petrus? Really? Okay. Really, really. Um, so I am going to stab it I'm going to stick my hand in its mouth with my rapier, and I'm going to stab up into its brain and slightly turn towards, like, slightly have the rapier come out of its eye socket, and then and then whip the rapier out, and then it drops to the ground dead. That really warms the heart, Senna. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh... I well with well no shit Sherlock. I, I'm 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 just trying to figure out where I can move, kind of. Okay, is this spot technically open for someone to move to? This one? Yes. Would that yes. spot be considered open space? Okay, I just yeah, of course I you can tell... move through Sporolina and well, get yeah, to that spot. Yeah, but it, I was just because there's some like yeah, terrain I know. there. Well, I just want. I'm like in like. Yeah, he, he, she's yeah, yeah. really grappled right now. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to pass my girlfriend and give her some bardic inspo. What do you say? I'm going to say kill the other one. Like, kind of like the, kind of like the, like, I got that one, you get this one. I'm going to get Swarlina out of there. 
Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Curtsy. Dookie dookie. No, five, ten. Uh, fucking the javelin. No. That's going to be a miss. Okay. Uh, is he currently... Has he lost any health yet? Uh, yes, definitely. Okay, I need I him to him make... I did hit him with a rock. Wisdom saving throw. There you go. I've been waiting for somebody to do some mental shit. Uh, natural 20. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wow. Went, honestly, oh, Jesse deserved that one. <laughs> Out of all the damage that I've, I dodged a seven points of damage. Ooh. Congrats. <laughs> Anything yeah, else, Kurtz? That's my turn. And Laura. All right. Well, uh, we are going to go ahead. This thing hasn't taken really any damage, has it? Hit that 69. Nice. Um, fuck it. We're going to free Sporlina with a, by killing it. Uh <laughs> Go Killing Sporlina? <laughs> I don't call Sporlina an it. I use your proper pronouns. Thank you. Oh. Is she they? 22? Oh, that, yeah, those will definitely hit. We, we're going to go ahead and just slash, drop slash. Uh, two third level spells into this. So, get ready for some fun damage. I'm gonna need you to count that up. <laughs> uh, that last, that last D8 doesn't count. Okay, let's do it. All right, hold on. Uh, let me scroll up. So 22 plus 14 is 36. 48, uh, 59 plus 26 is uh, 65, 75. Uh, oh, yeah. 88 uh, plus another 14 is 102 plus another 12 is 114. All right, next turn. No, I'm just kidding. Elora. <laughs> <laughs> Elora, how would you like to kill uh, this Tetris? I literally like run up its side, bounce off the wall, slice off the arm that's holding Sporlina as she falls to the ground. And then I just sort of do a bounce pat off of her uh, mushroom cap, flipping up over it, and then down through its skull and ride it to the ground. First off, I am not a trampoline, but thank you. You're uh, exceptionally jump bouncy. I don't know why you haven't tried that before. <laughs> buoyant. I'm buoyant and bouncy. Um, I would like to harvest the shit out of these things. Sure. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I'm sure you could try. They are uh, CR-10s. They are aberrations. These, aberrations. Are, these are specific to this campaign, right? These aren't from Correct. I have never heard of them before, unless you guys have heard of uh, Petrus before. Petrus. Uh, P-E-P-E-T. -E they are online. Oh. But I think Cute. they might be from like 3.5 or something. Because the, the thing looks. Oh, yeah, because this says they're CR 12s. So, yeah, this this might be like an older version of them or something. Maybe they did like a re. Reskinning. Oh, wait, this is Pathfinder. Is it? This is Pathfinder. AAW is probably just not using updated monster. Yeah. So Jesse can bullshit what he gets, gives us from a harvest. Yeah, exactly. Aberration, I believe, is a nature check. <laughs> They're CR10, so that's enough to know what to harvest from them, and that would be a dexterity plus harvesting. Or dexterity plus 20. For System carding it, people. Jeez. 
So at 23, you tell us what we get off of this thing. Everything. <laughs> I uh, definitely want some of its acid. All right, all right, all right. Let's go with a. You get a well, just... gland that does produce said acid. Oh, see, I was just gonna wring out my clothes, and you can just collect the acid from that. This is where Jesse's like, but the glands in its butt. So. <laughs> <laughs> smell like like a dog. Uh, you're Real able to get. Uh, you're able to get its one eye as well. Go ahead and preserve that in epoxy resin. Sure. No. Wear it as a as a necklace. Are these things basically just like a face with legs, kind of like a like a like minion? a beholder, but <laughs> uh, or it's... minions have arms. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, these guys have arms. Oh really? I thought they just yeah they, they just clawed and pitch... grappled. Yeah, Orlina. the picture just doesn't show that they have. Okay, that's fair. Hey, big boys. All right. Uh, anything else? We don't. None of us have identified. Is that correct? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll have to wait to Vethan's hold to find out what all these items were. You remember, you can always identify something with a uh, either a really high arcana check. It. Or by, uh, it didn't even say a tuning. I actually revisited the rules, and it just said if you spend two hours studying it, you learn its features. Oh, okay. Well, I can learn four of them over uh, a long rest. Since I don't have to sleep. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. Well, you guys uh, are able to go back up without issue this time. You are. A little bit stressed, but otherwise are, can make it out without an issue. And you are back to the underworld. And this is the second half of the fourth day. Um, who needs healing before we move on? Well, no, that was the second thing. Oh, that, that was, was the second half. Yeah. So we're at long rest. Yeah, because we didn't have. Yeah, I was gonna say we didn't have anything in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I figured, use it now, and then hopefully get none on the last day, so we can be getting clean to Bethan's hold. All right. So, you guys are able to find a nice little campsite far away from the Petrus Lair, but otherwise are able to get a nice long rest. Is there any Role playing, you guys would like to do for bed. Well, yes, but that's between Senna and me. Ayo! Hey. hey. So, let's go. Alright, well, uh, you guys are able to take a nice long rest. Go ahead and take your long rest. Uh, I'll, of course, eat a ration and uh, do your thing. Eleven of us don't need to eat ration. Um, so I would like to identify over the course of a long rest the Iune Stone, uh, the Bracers. You know it's an Iune Stone! <laughs> <laughs> the Bracers, uh, the Rod, and the Sickle, I believe. Alright. Leave so, the two rings for later. Let us go with the uh, Iune Stone first. And... I also I have thirty rations if anybody needs any. I'm okay, but thank you. Okay, just checking. Yeah, no, I I have quite a few in here, and I think one might be going a little stale. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, that's stale. All right, well, you are able to identify the runes on this Iune stone as. An Ayun Stone of Historical Knowledge. I don't know. Cross for me. Uh, historical Knowledge. The gains proficiency in history and a plus one bonus to checks. Okay. Okay. Pretty cool. The rod is an immovable rod. Nice. Uh, 
already forgot the other ones. Uh, the Bracers are Bracers of Archery. And the uh, hand sickle is a plus one hand sickle. Straight up plus one hand sickle. <clears throat> um, Marek, do you have the ability to uh, attune to a magical item? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll toss him the bracers. No, they really do. Oh, they give you a, a, a slight advantage with your. Uh, your fancy bowmanship there, uh, they give you a plus two to uh, attack and damage. Shit. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, it's just about uh, damage rolls. Plus two to damage rolls. Uh, with, with longbow or shortbow. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. Uh, Sporlina, you already have a plus one sickle, right? Or your moon sickle is yeah. a plus one? Mm -hmm. My moon sickle is a plus one, and it gives me an extra d4 of healing, so. I'm sorry, what was the Ayun stone called? Uh, historical knowledge. Which I don't think, and nobody else has an open attunement slot, right? Um, I think I might actually. I mean, also... I do have two. Also, oh, Jesse, more. quick question. I was cured of, um, of the, oh, I have quite a bit of achievement spots. Um, I was cured of the, um, that slime curse, right? Indeed. Okay, I, Ryan and I were talking earlier today, and I just wanted to double check and make sure that that was actually a thing. Yep, and it's gone. It should be completely gone. From yes, your, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, uh, right. the Ayun Stone could go to either Sporlina or uh, Cinemoira. Uh, Cinemoira, do you have proficiency in history already? Um, I, I do. Okay, it would make more sense, at least for the interim, to give it to Sporlina until we find her something better. Otherwise, it would just give you a plus one to history. Yeah, I I don't feel like I really need it either. Oh, you I know feel what? comfortable. Uh, no, because I attuned to the Scarab of Death. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. all the stuff is uh, not worth it for anybody. Yeah, we could sell it though. Yeah, <laughs> money, money is money is money. And it's a rare rare item, so. Um, the onion stone cell, the sickle. We also don't know what the other two. The there two was rings. Like two others. Yeah. yeah. And then the rod we'll keep because that's always certain. That's one of the uh, props that I can 3D print now. By the way, is an immovable rod. It's working. <laughs> All right. Something tells me it won't work the same, but <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly try and find out. All right. So. You guys uh, wake up and are able to head on your way through the back road, continuing, continuing your journey. The air begins to feel very moist <laughs> as you continue walking further. You can hear drip, drip. And then as you travel even further, you it's now drip, 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 all around you it is, seems to be raining but uh further on you can see a a bluish hue in the caverns up ahead as the road begins to widen further and further you see in front of you a great lake very, very far, farther than any of your uh, dark vision is able to see. It just keeps on going. You can see stalagmites and stalactites all around this lake. The lake seemingly goes for quite some time, and its uh, depth is also unknown, but it gives off a very different kind of a glow. You all 
are right here currently. And we don't see any way to cross the lake, uh, like around around the perimeter. Make a perception check. Yeah, someone make a perception check. With guidance. <laughs> Hey. We'll take her. It's his game in first. <laughs> All right. So, uh, with that perception check, especially from you, Sporlina, because you have the furthest dark vision of everyone, uh, what you see uh, across this lake, let's see. The first thing you see with your impressive dark vision is something at the very, very edge of your dark vision. You see something in the deepest depths of the water. It's hard to tell whether it's 150 or 200 feet uh, below the surface, but it seems to be uh, a large creature walking on the bottom of this lake. And as it begins to walk, it turns, and then it turns, and then it turns. And it seems to be just circling in a circle can at the I, bottom of the lake. Can I try and make out what kind of creature it is? Uh, do a nature check. Uh, this could be pretty tough. Even though you yeah, have a good perception, uh, I'll say a nature check of 22. Nope. <laughs> okay. uh, I got it's, my it's, one bit roll out. It's walking very funny. It's not... It's bipedal? not like a humanoid. It's bipedal, yep, okay. but it's not like a normal humanoid that you've ever seen. But maybe it's just the water that's, you know, distorting things. Uh, you can see that across this entire thing, uh, dripping from all the different uh, stalactites on the ceiling are just coming down onto this lake, causing huge rippling effects, which makes it even harder to see below the water. Uh, but as you continue looking further, uh, let's see... I am relaying this to our friends. You see more things begin to move. Uh, up in the upper parts of the cavern uh, on the roof, you can see bats, countless bats, just living and uh, looking, or flying all around. But some of them seem to be staying very still, while others are flying eh, nonchalantly. And then you see what looks to be some sort of a tentacle reach out from behind a stalactite and you see it grab the bat. This is like 200 feet out. You see it grab the bat and then you hear a Um guys, they're ceiling tentacles. Um I don't know about you guys, but I I I don't know. I don't know if I like tentacles. I accidentally stumbled across a film one time that had tentacles What's that left me very confused. I thought you liked the tentacle. Oh, never mind, I guess. <laughs> um, there's, yeah, there's also some sort of weird, strange bipedal creature walking in the water. It's, it's very odd. I don't know what the fuck is going up there. I can't make out what they are, though. And furthermore... I'm sorry, I'm still describing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and furthermore, you see on the sides of the cavern, uh, this very large cavern, again, probably around 200 feet out, uh, you see things moving all about the walls. Uh, at first, they were small, like little insects, not really something to really notice. I mean, you see insects all the time. Then you see very, very large insects about the size of, well, for your reference, like a small dog. Uh, uh, excuse so me, what? Yeah, ants and wasps that you see swirling uh, up. Okay, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So, um, you guys have these up, up on the, like, the other side, or, uh, like, uh, upstairs? <laughs> That's not the right... The, the top Top world. side? Yeah. Um, they're like, uh, they, they fly and they sting you, and they don't lose their stinger, so they just keep stinging. They're very mean. We have those two, but think like... Oh, Karen's. Um, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. it but thing like really big like really big like like the size of my hand 
Oh, mm, more like the size of your torso. Uh, <laughs> I don't suppose you have the ability to make us walk on the water still. That was that, yes? No. Do you have that in the recorder? Let me see. At this it point, is! <laughs> nice! You also, you also hear humming. It's just what a kind cornucopia. Of humming? Insectoid humming or humanoid humming? Um, that's gonna be a nature check from Sporlia. Thanks. Thank you. Twenty seven. Uh, you're gonna hear it uh as a musical hum. Uh, it sounds a little discordant, a little ominous, if you will. But it seems to be coming uh, around one of the stalagmites, uh, about maybe 30 feet from you. Sounds like uh, music. If I, if I recognize this, uh, the song, can I whistle back, like in a, or like hum, hum back in a similar tone? Make a history check. I did. Hey. Okay, guided. Thank you. That's not bad. And Sorry, now roll a performance check. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Guidance. Hey! hey! Okay. Go, bitch, go! <laughs> I'm the best <laughs> hummer around. So they it's are. nothing that you would. Yep. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's nothing <laughs> that. You... <laughs> it's nothing that you would recall. However, uh, as you listen to it, you can like follow the rhythm and you kind of uh, hum out one of the uh, harmonies and are able to pick up the pieces of whatever creature was humming. And as you finish the humming, it stops. And then you hear footsteps coming around the stalagmite. And out from that stalagmite comes what looks to be a albino gnome. Oh uh, God, he's so cute! With what looks to be a skull cap adorned with steel, uh, plain steel rivets uh, around his head. So in essence, it's a, it's a helm. It is a helm. A skull helm with rivets uh, on this creature's head. And what color is it? Uh, just a regular skull color, rivets, steel oh. rivets. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I just wanted to make uh, sure it wasn't red, and we were just about to get, like, viciously attacked by a fucking red cap. Carme heard you humming. What brings you to the lake? Well, so funny that you mention, or ask, um, we, uh, aren't entirely sure. We kind of just, like, let the wind take us where we feel we need to be. Hmm. Our mate doesn't really believe you. <laughs> uh, do I get to make a deception, deception check? Yeah, sure. Guidance. <sighs> I need a four. He's just got his hand on your shoulders. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carmay doesn't really Can he reach you. my shoulder. Carmay doesn't really like being lied to, but this is Here. my lake. We call it the Albino Waters. Carmay can provide passage if you are willing to pay, as well as tell me where you are really doing. Carmay will allow you to go. Question: um, How does one? own a bod is there like oh. a deed can well can I... I own a body of water not your body of water just like any body of water i suppose as long as you are <laughs> able to protect it karma protects this water is it is it karma or is it all of the creatures that protect the waters and like karma is like cool with the creatures it's Carme. As he gives a slight smirk and uh, pull, like, if he had suspenders, he would do that, like, snapping suspender wee, thing. Wee, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I do. Uh, so 
check on that. Bad sure. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> and who is this Carme? He you are Carme. looking at his <laughs> magnificent. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. He is. Kurtz, go to the secondary voice channel. He is speaking in third person. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Is it third Anybody person? Anybody else see the person? antennas uh, on his head? Nope, that would be third person. Those are eyebrows. They're so cute. He's kind of cute, which is a bummer because we're probably gonna have to kill him if he's totally a lunatic. Right. They they look like <laughs> antenna that could be yeah, controlling all the bugs. Wee wee wee. I love the idea. Bugs listen. Okay. Some of the biggest going on. I wonder if he can make his eyebrows dance. Oh, oh God, yes. <laughs> you are looking at his magnificence. Ah. Uh, okay. So, oh, so you're a what? fan of the third person, are we? Carmen oh, talks about <laughs> magnificence. Mm -hmm. Carmen, quick question. Um, like, what exactly is it that you want from us for safe passage? Because that's going to really kind of determine how the next, mm, say, 10 minutes is going to go. Well, I'm particularly fond of magic items. Okay. Uh, this is a new day, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we took a full rest. Um... I'm going to kind of, like, walk backwards away from the group and cast Detect Magic. Uh, stealth check, see if anyone notices you. You have to beat a DC of 22, I believe. Yeah. No, like, I, it's okay if the group sees me. I'm just, I'm just kind of, like, slinking to the back of the group and casting Detect Magic so he can't see. That's okay. the idea. Yeah. Uh, eh, well, still give me a stealth check because I still need it for him. Uh, 32? Yeah, I'd say you're, you are non-noticeable, even though you're behind everyone, detect magic. Uh, and then as you approach again, uh, sli uh slyly... Just kind of, like, looking around, like, around the cave, looking at all the dangers. <laughs> yeah, uh, the only thing that really pings off is, of course, all of your equipment, as well as the skull cap adorned with plain steel rivets on his head. Ah. Uh, I see. I know what uh, you're what? thinking, sir. I know what you're thinking, Kurtz. I know what you're thinking. We can't. We cannot give him the sickle. What? Well, why not? It's too I mean, powerful. We can't just give anyone the sickle. I, I mean, I know that, but he seems like a nice enough guy, and if he's gonna, like, help us get across the river, then... You guys found a sickle? You get... You... It's strong enough that you guys didn't even tell me about it? What the fuck? Well, you're, well, you're, you're too weak to wield really. it. You're too you're weak, too weak to wield it. But... Carme, on the other hand, looks very strong. It's okay, Morik. But we it's don't. Carme okay. is okay. very strong, as he gives like a again. If he had if he had those straps, he would be flicking them. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we don't, but we don't even know him. We don't, we don't know what he would do with that kind of power. Carmen, I'm gonna need you... a deception check from whoever it wants to do this do with I have advantage. An advantage. Okay. Yes. Um, can I do it? Can I do it? Because I'm I'm real good at it. <laughs> you are already rolled. Um. Yeah, oh, well, I want to help her, uh, at least. <laughs> oh, man. What are you doing, Kaylor? Let's see. Um, no, no. Oh, they already rolled some. I'm, I'm guess we're, we're just rolling with that. Um, let's see. Um, let's, uh, yeah, so Carme, you know, uh, how did you, uh, come to be this owner of this, uh, albino lake? And it... Also, why did they call that Bino Lake? I mean, it's just so interesting. I'm sure you have so many interesting stories to, to tell me, and you should tell me them. Right now. <laughs> in as much Let detail me, as possible. I'll get to you in a second, my good man. But Carme is interested in this sickle right now. Can I see this sickle? Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I'll pull it out and be like, yeah, but you have to see with your eyes, not with your hands. I mean, obviously you understand it's so powerful, we don't want to just give it away without... Making a deal first. Well, 
I can provide safe passage for you who gives me the sickle. But I would need something else from the rest of you, of course. I This does look like a very fine sickle. Oh, oh, it is. We definitely don't have enough magic items for all 16 of us. Oh, well, there are other things you are maybe willing to give, old Carve. Chris is going to sigh and start stripping. I was just going <laughs> to say, my V-card's gone, man. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. Keep going. Wait, oh, no. Lower. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> you really good, then you get us all across the. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is gonna determine real fast if Kurtz is a bottom or a top. We're gonna find out. Real <laughs> He's a power omni. Uh, okay, so so am I doing the persuasion roll to convince him he has the finest butt in the land? Now, hold on, hold on. So, Kaylor, <laughs> what were you asking before? You were asking what, uh, what about the albino waters? <laughs> Yeah, I was asking him about the he, the the great story of Carme and his albino lake, and why the hell is it called Albino Lake? Uh, so as he's watching Kurtz uh, strip teasily, uh, he is keeping his eyes on Kurtz. But uh, as he's uh, doing this, he says, "Well, the albino waters are, of course, named after the albino individual who watches over the waters." And this lake is actually, the full name is, and I am not even going to try to pronounce this. Let's do it together. Oh my god. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> must be it's Icelandic like or something. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Bye to hollow hi, Carmi. After your I'm just going to call it Lake V. <laughs> Your, your butt's about to be a V here. <laughs> so, it <laughs> makes a lot of sense. <laughs> we can't afford it. <laughs> oh, safe well. Safe passage? I don't need to afford it. If you would like safe passage, well, why don't we go behind that rock over there? Oh, my. <laughs> my wife is going to kill me. I'm a chop. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm gonna uh, Is this actually I, I happening? Cast, I cast warding bond on on Kurtz. Um, what does I'm that do? Cast... I, I, I take half of this is pain. <laughs> <laughs> does that work for mental anguish? <laughs> I'm gonna cast fog cloud around them so we don't have to watch. Thank How big you. is fog cloud? Uh hold on, hold on. It is a 20-foot radius, so 40-foot diameter sphere. Okay, okay, sounds good. Sorry, I, I take the same amount of damage as him, but he has a plus one to AC and saving throw. Oh, and resistance to all damage. Okay, nice. okay. Uh, so, oh, Curse, do, do you follow him behind the big rock with the fog cloud, apparently, now? <laughs> yeah, but Curse is a Was Got was it. this okay, what you fine. planned, Jesse? Was this how you wanted this to go? You can see Carme. Uh, Carme uh, does have like a really uh, a happy look about him. Uh, go ahead, Kaylor. Uh, well, while this is all starting to go on, I would like to think back to a few moments ago when he was saying some stuff to, about how Carme um, protects the river, and I, I would like to try to get an insight check to see if he's actually as bad as he is putting on. Roll an insight check. Can I assist? Uh, no, you can't really assist. Uh, secondary voice channel, Kaylor, please. Alright. Oh, this is just so awkward. All right, so you guys watch as Carme, with a very satisfying smile on his face. Uh, oh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, with the fog. 
and inside the fog, uh, you are now mostly in the fog, and half of this fog, I would say, probably also touches the lake, uh, and behind this rock as well, and so Carme is just going to go maybe around knee-deep into the water, and, uh, turn around to Kurtz, and Kurtz, what did you pull out? Then goes elbow-deep into Kurtz. Uh, spear. So you are now holding your spear, and Carme gives you a quizzical look and just says, That's not what Carme was expecting. Oh, well, this is how I do it, my man. Roll a deception check. Deception, intimidation, oh tomato, tomato. Or intimidation, whichever one you want. Yeah, you can do intimidation, that's fine. Oh, God. Hang on, I gotta find out which one's higher. Oops. And you can always you could always roll like a strength for intimidation or something like that. <laughs> oh, As he okay. Flexes and rips I mean, his shirt open. I mean, he is, <laughs> he is he is naked. Sure. So, Kurtz, you are naked boy right now, right? Yeah, ripple. Uh... Oh, fucking hell! Are you? That's a strength check. Yeah, it's a plus three, you know, it's, it's, it's intimidation plus... Aw, you know, uh, he knows uh, you're nervous. As uh, Carme looks at you and just says, Carme doesn't like being disappointed. And he is going to approach you. And why is it always you, Brad? Why is it always you? I don't you? know. As, things. as Carme takes a step forward, you feel like a shock underneath your underneath your feet, as if this little old gnome had caused a like a mild earthquake. Oh, I fucked up bad. He takes I'm another excited. step, and you see his foot is a lot bigger than it was before. Oh, you should have just taken one for the team. Mm -hmm. And now like you, you see <laughs> you see the helm you see the helm begin to just morph and now he has horns and his eyes roll back and his teeth get larger and his skin gets scalier as now over the next 6 seconds you see in front of you and what you guys hear, by the way, is, like, ripples. You hear, like, you know, sounds of splashing water a little bit. That's, in essence, what you hear, because he's Noise. halfway in the lake. Oh, what man. you see in this fog cloud that only you can see, Kurtz, please, please is a very it. large cave dragon oh, looking down no. upon oh, you, God. pissed God. off that you just offended him, and we're going to roll initiative. <laughs> God damn it, you! Uh, can we go to a, a battle map and just mark off an area for water? Sure. I, I like to imagine a few moments before this, I was just twirling my thumbs going, Oh, this is some mighty nice stalactites! Yep, yep, mm-hmm. Um, say no and attempt to that rock. We could have just taken it at the butt and we would have gotten across the river, but we'd have to find a drag. Uh, alright, so how about, let's see, where's a good place? Uh, da, 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 da. uh, you guys go right here. Yeah, you guys go right here. And curtsy boy, you're gonna be here behind this big old rock, and this will be the water that that the uh, dragon is mostly in. Dumb ways to die. This'll and if you decided to do a history day. check on Lake Volcarme, <laughs> this will be the day. Wait a that minute! I wait a minute! Wait a minute! We still have Warden Pond up, so you do have plus one to AC. Oh, and there's a sea stall banner. Oh, your two tanks are uh, linked up for help, guys. That's true. Hey. You did link up. You know, I oh. wish I'd uh, fully read the name. Instead of just uh, speed, speeding through it. Huh. So canon-wise, Kurtz is naked. Oh yeah. Um, so no AC. You don't, you don't have AC, yeah. Or you just like it's... unequip your armor. 
<laughs> your you AC know. is 8 plus dex. Oh. And plus 1. Oh, sick. You have a shield, sick. right? Yeah, <laughs> I've got a shield. Well, oh, he's um, a for initiative. That's nice. Oh, sorry. We've been here before. Or at least I have. Why is you and dragons, man? Hey, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, oh, well, it's a cave oh wow. Dragon. Ah, see you guys at the bottom of initiative. Hey, Sporlina. We're just having a tea party. How are you? <laughs> How did you get below me? Do you have a plus six Magic. But I had a uh, one. There's no gnats on. Oh, so yeah. right now, it is currently only Kurtz and uh, the Dragon Boy, as you guys are unknown because there's a fog cloud and a freaking giant stone thingy here. So, uh, Kurtz, it is your turn. You see this in front of you. You have a spear in your hands. You are buck ass naked. What are you doing? Uh, I think he the shivers. Term is buck ass nude. <laughs> he shivers us, as buddy. if. <laughs> uh... <laughs> he shivers as if this has happened somewhere in some other lifetime before. Which <laughs> <laughs> really should have been a bard with this attitude, honestly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, fucking a dragon. They're trying to fuck a dragon. <laughs> okay, okay, we're going the dragon. Fuck a lie, sing fuck a lie. <laughs> make this bitch scream. Did it go off? Did I click off? I clicked off. It, okay, it's taking some time. I'm doing both, so it's fine. Why do I, I cannot do both. I clicked it twice. Shit but like it, this it wasn't going. First one. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. First one. Uh, <laughs> and with that, uh, the dragon is going to use his reaction to counterspell. This is so uh, a fifth we level spell. should just be going. Yeah. Uh, what is this? For it. So this is... It doesn't have a spell listed, so I'm going to assume it's base level third. So this will be... Natural 20. I think that's going to make it. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Are you, though? Not really. Yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that 13 is... You're not gonna make it. Yes, it will. Will it? Yeah. Plus ten. Yup. All right. Go ahead and roll that damage. So that's gonna be fourteen twenty-five. At this point, you guys hear a clink. And then a, oh hell. Oh, <laughs> well, that's, sounds like they're starting to have some fun out there. Wait, does the back? Oh, never mind. The spirit doesn't. The javelin doesn't go through him, or past him, and come back. Never mind. All right. Working Anything else, Kurtz? <laughs> Working on a backup character. Do, 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 do. Are you gonna move? Um, I would Dude, prefer. Run away! Run away! Yeah, uh, run five, away! Ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, before you do, you see this away. cave dragon's, uh, first off, that's a wall, so you'd have to, like, squeeze through here again. But, oh, anywho, yeah. before you do, I'm gonna need you to make a, uh, dexterity saving throw as the cave dragon spikes and feelers begin to flare up and bar your, uh, way of moving. Yeah, it's just DC run 16. away. It's so easy, just run away. God. <laughs> oh, oh, no. If Maybe the saving throw fails, the creature bad. takes a uh, d8. You take sounds five piercing squelchy. damage from the spikes. This is sounds uh, squelchy. He takes two, and I take two, and you feel... You feel a piercing damage in your side, Laura. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's supposed to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if, if, if the dra when the dragon does enough damage, I could feel it, but that's that, like... I don't know, that might just be some kinky sex. Two points of damage, it's just a little tearing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kurt, uh, you can't move. Anything else? <laughs> That's it. Here we go. As it opens its mouth, you see a horrible poisoning coming at you. 
I am going to need a constitution saving throw. Oh, she put me out of my misery. <laughs> uh, that is a fail. That is a massive fool. <laughs> and because of, okay, so you become poisoned, and you mm. take forty-five points of damage. Oh, holy shit! Mm. Uh, you take half that. You take twenty. You take half that, and I take twenty. And now I feel like Galore would. Be I am to... resistant to poison. Actually, I'm immune. No, I'm. Hold on. Is immune to disease, resistant to poison. Uh, so I take a look. And yeah. you guys see just like a poisonous cloud in just completely engulf uh, this area. And now you know something's, oh, something's probably wrong. up. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, Jesse, could you make my ghoul tiny and then make nine copies of it? All right. You're small. You have no formal education. Uh, let's see. <laughs> wow, what a Three, Republican four, five, dig. Six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, nine. Too much time with your, uh, yeah, ten all together. So, yeah. Oh, 10 altogether. Is that 10? That's yes. 10. Yes. The Horde. Right. All right. The Horde. Uh, so that was that turn. And uh, it's going to put its claw out in front of you, ready to grapple you. And as it looks at you and just say, What? Am I not good enough for you? Okay, Lord, it's your turn. Boy. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, wait. Did I miss something? What's the white stuff? Fog cloud. It's fog cloud, because I fog, fog cloud them for privacy. I didn't realize that it When was... I doubled over, would you have dropped that? Probably, yeah. I mean, to see what the hell was going on, if you made it seem like it was, like, a problem. That'll be on your turn, Sporlina. Kaylor yeah, gets to drop figured. first. Um, can I, like, delay my turn? Cause I'm sure. Not... Yeah. You can delay your action. You cannot delay your turn. Okay, delay my action. All right. Um, okay, so let's see. What do I want to do? Um, so I could, if I delay my action, do I, I only get the action? I can't do anything with like the bonus action? Yeah, unfortunately, that's how holding your action works. Okay, okay. Let's see. Um,. I am going. Uh, how how tall is this right here? Uh, that's probably like another thirty feet up. Okay. Okay. And about how tall is this rock? Eh, and twenty feet. And fog cloud. Uh, thirty. 60 feet in diameter? 40 feet in diameter? 40, 40, 40 feet, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. a spear. Okay, 40, okay. It's a spear. So I imagine I might be able to... Okay, well, let's just give it a go. Let's go, go, Batman cloak. And fly up to here. Um, and, and see if I can see a giant dragon sticking over the steam and the rocks and all that. Okay. Yep, you... Oh, they're in the fog cloud, too. Okay. So you probably won't be able. You probably see a big shadow of something. Oh, it's only. A... Oh. oh, it's a forty foot. Okay. I, I I see something. Um, big and scary. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna hold my action. I'm gonna uh, tell Shadow Doggy to go after it if something big and scary comes out of the giant fog cloud. Is your doggy a bonus action? Um, no. It's it's a regular action. Okay, so if you see something big and scary, you summon the doggy. Yeah, and, and the doggy on him, because the doggy has to have a, have a target, and the, it's, it disappears as soon as the target is dead or gone. Sounds good. All right, Mark. Uh, realizing that this is a fucking cliff that I am not going to be able to go over, and there's no way in hell I'm going to go this way, uh, I'm going to go... There is no bridge there, by the way. This is just a, a map that I grabbed quickly. Okay, so we came up. from, like, over here, pretty much, sure. probably. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I basically have to go this way. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 
Uh, yeah. I'll use my bonus action to dash. 5, sure. 10, 15, 20. I see As you giant... dash around the corner, you see the very clenched butt cheeks of Kurtz and a very large dragon right in front of him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> just... I'm just gonna yell, DRAGON! <laughs> and, um... Uh, I'm gonna do the Oath Bow on it, which, by the way, thank you for those bracers, because it now gives me a plus 10 to hit this thing instead of a plus 6. It's, it's plus only on bit. damage. It's only no, on no, damage. no. No, no, no. It makes me proficient with Longbow, which I wasn't. Oh, nice. Wow! <laughs> I wasn't, and I had a plus six, and now I have a plus ten with by just nice. having these on. Um, That's awesome. And I'm just going to say, Kurt, be sure to help me with this one if I need it, maybe. Uh, and I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do sharp, uh, the sharpshooter thing uh, and the oath, so I get advantage in all the fun stuff. He so should be. Plus ten to damage. Yeah. Holy shit. 29 will hit. So it's 9, so 26, 35, 45 damage. All right. And then uh, I had moved 20 feet, and I'm going to move back here. <laughs> all right. Anything else? That's it. That's all I can do. All right, it is going to use its legendary action to make a bite attack on Nicky Boy over here. It's a plus eight. 14 plus eight. I think that's going to hit. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be, oh, don't worry, it's just 2d6 plus six. Uh oh. Uh, so that's going to be 16 piercing damage, which is halved because of Alora. Alora, you take uh, eight points. Kurtz, you take eight points. And you're grappled in its mouth. That's fine. No, you were in the I've accepted my fate. I've accepted my fight. I've already got my backup character. It's fine. Elora. <laughs> uh, so, Sporlina, you have. We both have 14, or did you have a 13? I have a 12. Oh, okay. So you're ahead of me. Shit. All right. Well, uh. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and. This is established cannon, Jassy. Uh, this is this is twenty feet up, right? This rock. Sure. Yeah. Can I do ghoul pyramid as a staircase and run up on on top of the rock? Sure, I'll let you use all your ghouls for that. <laughs> you see a ghoul ghoul ladder or a staircase, a ghoul staircase. Ghoul staircase. <laughs> <laughs> That's 30. I will hold uh, my I will hold Bloodshot uh, Yeah, I'll hold Bloodshot for when I can see something. Um, fog Cloud. Can you read the description of Fog Cloud? I want to know like how far Um, yeah, hold on. Uh, fog Cloud, where are you at? I thought it was I think it just obscures vision within the area. Yeah. And like a gust of wind can move it. Let's see. Oh, it's only a first level spell. Uh, you create a 20 foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. The sphere spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscured. It lasts for the duration in order to a wind or moderate of greater speed. At least 10 miles per hour disperses it. Uh, and it lasts up to an hour. Okay. Uh, I'd say with the poison breath, that was probably a lot. Uh, you probably do see it at this point. Still oh, okay. Um, in that case, uh, well, shit, that kind of changes what I wanted to do. Uh, fuck it, we'll still do a blood shot. Not close enough to it. Um, you know what? No. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do Memento More. So, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, ghouls all stack up and then I just, like, I, I run up to it and I turn like do a spin on my heel 
and crack my back backwards and I crawl up the ghouls backwards with my head dangling behind me and uh, then I sort of oh my god <laughs> then I sort of snap back up as I and I, I like roar at the dragon as I see it uh, and it needs to make a charisma saving throw okay that is a 19 that is a success okay well that's my okay. turn alright uh, it's gonna use another legendary action uh, and it is at this point, what's it gonna do? Yeah, it's going to attempt to, uh, swallow. So, let's see. <laughs> All of us have a hard time our first time, too. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna hit, yeah. Uh, Ooh. Kurt, you are now restrained inside the throat of said being. Uh, you are restrained, you are taking uh, poison damage and bludgeoning damage as you are being crushed as well. You are taking eight points, halved to four, of bludgeoning damage as you are now a good juicy snack. Well, it's better than cheating on my wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it swallowed you, so... I don't think that's just, I don't think it's. I don't think it works that way, Jesse. Smart Lena. Well, fun. Okay, so uh, I'll drop concentration on Fog Cloud. Okay. Obviously, there's no reason for that. I will wild shape my caps, and then I will uh, throw one with my bonus action. And I will. I'm going to move through Cinemora, Moira this way. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Please, for the love of God, hit. That will definitely hit. Sick. 36 uh, force damage. As you see, <laughs> as Kurtz just gets uh, puked up right here, and you are no longer restrained. Carme! Come on, man! I know that he's a tricky jerk, but he, he, he's married! He shouldn't have done it! <laughs> and looks it back at you, Sparlina. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. I do just give him kind of like a sad, disappointed mom look, though. Like, hand <laughs> on hand on hip. Cinna. Okay, um, well, all that's happening. I... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you did straight up just catfish a fucking dragon. You did. I thought he was a lunatic. <laughs> I didn't think he was a dragon. Rule number one. Everything's a mimic. Everyone's a dragon. This is D&D. &D. Alright. I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to cast Witch Bolt. Alright. Go ahead and cast that. And see if it hits. I hope it does. You rarely hit this. Yeah, yeah. got hit. Woo! Like, I did only cast second level, but you know what? That's okay. All right. Uh, as it hits this creature, it is now looking directly at you, Senna. Anything else? I I just kind of... I, I just kind of yell, f like, fuck. Like, I, I know what I did was dumb, but I need to Why did to you get so close? I need to give it a distraction! Alright. Kurtz. It's now its turn after this. Why me? Why? Well, okay, give me one second. 5, 10, 15, 25, oh. 30. I'm moving back a little bit. Thank uh, you. You're moving right here or right there, yeah. Oh, okay. I I did not understand the, uh, the terrain that well. Sorry. He's okay. Curtsy boy. Again, oh, I probably can't, can't do this reaction. again. <laughs> Can you heal yourself? Yeah, heal yourself and tr well, I would say try to grape grape the grapple. Break the grapple. Grape the uh, grapple. Not grappled anymore. Got thrown up. Uh, I just realized oh, okay. the uh the wolfy boy's actually a bonus action. Ah, oh. uh, that's a good point. Shit. Uh yeah. Okay. We'll pretend you lost that turn. You didn't waste it, though. 
Okay. So you could definitely do it again. Uh, with that inflict wounds, that'll definitely hit with 29 points of necrotic. Does he have any resistance? No, he does not. All right, anything else? And you're just gonna go for it. One hand on his face, just nec necrotizing its face, and then trying to give a good jab, but it hits his scale and bounces off, doesn't do any damage. Uh, I can use the plus 10 a second time. Oh, all right. Roll damage. I want out of here. I want to break free. 18 points. All right. Anything else? The free action to cry. All right. <laughs> Uh, it is Big Boy's turn. First off, let's see if it's... Oh, boy! <laughs> you knew. Uh, ooh. Yeah. It is going to move up here. Oh, Sparly Donna. <laughs> All right. Uh, I am behind a big rock, right? It I moved. Can't... It moved. Ah, it is now right going to definitely get you. Uh, all right, so it is going to... Only a 30-foot cone, huh? What a bitch-ass rat. He's probably <laughs> like a young, I'm assuming. He's like a young uh, dragon. All right. It would make sense. He's boasting I'm gonna need from himself. con saves from y'all. All y'all? Including Kalor? Uh, just Mork, Elora, and Kurt. Mork, you have a plus five. Okay. Mork, you get half damaged. <gasps> Kurt, you get I half damage, and Elora gets half damaged. Woo! I get a quarter, but I also get half of. Uh, I, well, Kurt gets a quarter. I get and I get half of that. Sorry, so I don't know. Do the math. <laughs> you rolled forty-five. Kurt takes twenty-two. I take 22, but I'm resistant. I get 11. I get another 11 from mine, so I take... Got it. I take 11. Mark, you take 22. Sorry about this. <laughs> and now it is going to use its movement speed to take flight as it flies away from Kurtz. Kurtz, you may make an attack of opportunity if you so desire. And I can't. You have Warcaster? Uh, no. No, I don't. Jeezy Pete's, man. 14 will miss. Uh, it is exactly 20 feet away from Kurtz at this point. So. Mm. 20 feet away from Kurtz. It's off the, off the map. Kalor, you can see this creature flying through the caverns now. 20 feet away from Kurtz, which means it is... About 45 feet away from you. Okay. So let's see. So it's currently flying. Um. Okay. Guessing no doggy then. Um. Uh, oh god, oh god, do I... What you doing? I am going to go ahead and cast a fireball at him, because he's up in the air, and I don't trust myself to not miss, so... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is going to be a deck save. Natural 20. It's going to be 14 points of damage. And as this fireball explodes, there are also plenty of bats, ants, 
uh, wasps, dark mantles, etc., all around that just get engulfed in this uh, enormity of light. And you can see these creatures know to stay away from this uh, beast, this dragon. And they were like huddled behind stones and rocks and stalactites and such. And this explosion just lights up the whole of this uh, lake. And you can see just how far across it is, over 500 uh, feet at, uh, probably more than that, actually, 700 feet, roughly. And you can see at the bottom, glimmering, you can see what Sporolina described, the walking, uh, uh, creature walking in a circle around a very glimmery pile that you can see, along with other humanoid-like creatures scattered about this entire lake. And Kalor, how would you like to kill the cave dragon? Woo! Oh man, just big smoldering pile of dragon going down and sizzling in the water. Oh man, that was I was not expecting that. <laughs> he wasn't that. He wasn't that big of a dragon. Okay. I'm assuming he was like young. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that would explain his behavior. <laughs> it actually doesn't say young, but yeah. I just assumed this. Uh, yeah, probably right. a 30 foot cone, I would say. Mm. There you go, Kurtz. One, one. one Change for those one. numbers, baby. Change those numbers. <laughs> Kurtz, we'll uh, you don't have any pants, but do you need a changing? <laughs> uh, no, he just peed a little. He, he also jumps in, right. jumps into the water. <laughs> he also might have an erection, but that's a battle erection. That's normal. <laughs> Everybody gets those. Just curious, how fucked would you have been if Alora did not give you that half damage? <laughs> I'm at forty six. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you yeah, would have definitely been, been out. <laughs> that was awesome. Didn't even know. <laughs> I have that spell. I've just never used it because I kept forgetting to get the platinum rings or forgetting who has them all right well you all just kind of look at each other like what the hell just happened but that's where we will end tonight's episode at level 11 of course hey, hey, hey. we, we just, just beat a dragon it was a young dragon come on come on dragon. come on <laughs> Hold on, let me see, let me see. I need to see. I, I do. you would always kill us on my own maps, my own creations. I know, that's just like what I really want to do. <laughs> what level are you guys right now? Ten. Ten. Yeah, no, you, you got time. Come on! Roll it, a D, I'll give you a 98 or higher, I'll give oh, it to you. come on! That's Wait, a three percent chance. chance. There's still a chance. Uh -huh. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna use my inspiration to re-roll that. <laughs> <laughs> sure, fine. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna waste my inspiration on it. I'll be patient. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was good. That was fun. Hey, um, oh, fun. now we freed the lake of a, an of an evil tyrant. Yeah. Maybe so they'll let did. us pass now. Maybe they'll be like, "Oh, those fuck." I'm assuming he was he was about to take sexual favors from a dude he just met. That's yeah. is that evil or and, horny? I mean, and then, but Kurtz then changed his mind and he couldn't take no for an answer. That's basically rape. Yeah, that's true. I uh, I don't think so. I think I only have water walk. Let me. Oh. Uh. We don't need well, to worry Kurtz about that. Kurtz is going to believe he saved the lake from a tyrant and didn't cheat on his wife. We can't hear you, Jer. Uh, let's see. Which, I for the record, he only attacked because Kurtz tried to intimidate him. Not necessarily because he said no. He might be a horny dragon, but he ain't no rapey dragon. Ain't no rapey dragon. <laughs> I'm going to get a tattoo that says, Ain't No Rapey Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I would feel terrible if <laughs> responsible for that. It's my temple, Jesse. Let me graffiti it how I want. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, anything else for you guys? Nope, I think that's it. I, I need some brain bleach things. I'm but... sorry, everyone. No, we're proud of you, Kurt. You survived. We all survived. Everything's fine. Yeah, you survived, <laughs> but you did make a really dumb choice. Well, we got to keep all of our magic items and maybe find more because he's a dragon. <sighs> That's what, you know, it's, I mean, it's I did so hear nice. a distinct mention of a shiny pile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. it could be a shiny pile of shit because it's fresh. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's magical silver dragon shit. Those humanoids we saw, those were like bodies, right? Uh, they were upright. Oh, yeah, they were walking upright. around. Oh, the I, I thought the, 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 big, water, the yeah. big, the big boy was walking around. These things were not walking around. Oh, yeah, that's, what, that's what I was saying. Yeah. So, so does this mean we own a lake now? <laughs> <laughs> it's our lake now. I mean, maybe he did it. He did owned it by force. So well, then you have to own it by force. Then you have to, uh, what you call it, kill all the things that, or intimidate all the things that would otherwise. We just killed the thing that intimidated them. I feel like that's pretty intimidating. Maybe. <laughs> oh man, I spent Although, like twenty one of us on that backup is character. naked, so I don't know if they feel like that's intimidating. Oh, I think that would be. Hey, even more I helped terrifying. kill a dragon while naked. Yeah. Exactly. Proud of you. Proud of you. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Also, Brad, fuck you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, he almost did, so... You were, well, yeah, that too. Uh, no, he was giving me updates on uh, oh, the Bills yeah. game. Uh, it's really bad. I, I, have it on, I have it on my phone right now. I mean, I'm, I've been watching it this entire time, but... Uh, it's not like you're a Vikings fan. <laughs> yeah. Good thing, uh, I'm not, good thing I'm not a Vikings fan. <laughs> yeah.